Boots is definitely showing signs of tick paralysis. His back legs have gone, he's really wobbly, he's falling all over the place and if we don't treat him straight away he could get worse very quickly. All three poodles have been together and need to be checked for the life-threatening parasite. There's always a concern that they, you know, something dreadful happens and they don't make it. And then you've got to go back and tell the children. Already in reception at the Bondi Referral Hospital Sash is anxious owner Catherine with three miniature poodles. This here is Boots and these are his brothers, Chopper and BJ. But it's two and a half year old Boots that Catherine is worried about. He was not very well last night and then this afternoon when we got home I found a little lump under his neck, rolled him over and there was quite a big looking thing. Catherine is concerned that what she found is a deadly paralysis tick. Come on, guys. All three poodles have been together and need to be checked for the life-threatening parasite. But Boots appears to be the only dog affected. Oh, that's a big crater. When did you first notice that something was not right with Boots? Probably last night he was vomiting up his meals. Okay. And since then he hasn't kept anything down. Okay. Emergency vet Lisa Chimes is convinced that the tick toxin has already begun shutting down Boots' system. Boots is definitely showing signs of tick paralysis. His back legs have gone, he's really wobbly, he's falling all over the place and if we don't treat him straight away he could get worse very quickly. He's going to need to stay in hospital. We're going to give him some sedation, clipping off all his hair to make sure there's no other ticks. How do we check that they don't? The only way to know for sure is to give them a haircut too. There's always a concern that they, you know, something dreadful happens and they don't make it. And then you've got to go back and tell the children. I know, it's a little Good. sting. <laughs> hey, brothers. While BJ and Chopper are admitted for observation, Lisa begins life-saving treatment on Boots. So we're just putting an IV catheter in Boots because uh, we need to give him his tick anti-serum. We've got to get it in pretty soon because he's already got the signs of tick paralysis. He's certainly a very sick dog right now. Hi, oh, sweet pea. You're a good boy. Now that we've given Boots the tick anti-serum, it's really important that we take some x-rays of his chest because what can happen with tick paralysis is it can cause their esophagus, their food pipe, to dilate and that can make them prone to inhaling their vomit. So it's really, really important that we know what's going on. It does show that he's got a condition called mega-esophagus. The tick has basically paralysed his esophagus. We don't feed Boots anything because anything we give him by mouth is going to just come straight back up and put him at risk of pneumonia. So he's going to stay on a drip until that mega esophagus gets better and that could take days. He can get started with his full body shave and um, then we've got two others lined up for their shaving as well. <laughs> the miniature poodle is being shaved to ensure there are no other ticks attacking his system. Who wants to be checked next? All right, we'll take you, BJ. As a precaution, his brothers, Chopper and BJ, are also being checked to ensure they aren't carrying any of the deadly parasites. BJ's been in the same area as Boots, so even though he seems fine now, we might still find a tick on him and he could still develop signs of tick paralysis. So we've got to keep a close eye on it. Whoa, feels funny, doesn't it? All right, Chopper buddy, it's your turn. Come on. Oh, I found a tick. You found another one? Yeah, wow, it's really sorry. So while we were shaving Boots, we've just found another tick on his ear, so it goes to show how important the shaving is. Oh, I oh no. no, it hurts. Good boy. <coughs> OK. We got it. We got it, baby. We got it. We got it. We got it. If we hadn't found the other tick, the tick anti-serum wouldn't be working as effectively because this tick would still be injecting toxin into Boots' system. While Boots' siblings Chopper and BJ appear to be clear of any ticks, little Boots is struggling as the tick toxin continues to attack his system. At the moment we're pretty happy that Chopper and BJ are tick free. They're not showing any signs of tick paralysis, which is great. Uh, but certainly ticks can hide anywhere, so we're going to keep checking them to make sure we haven't missed them. Boots could certainly get much worse. His breathing is already looking a lot more laboured than it was when he came in, so we have to keep a very, very close eye on him. You're OK, Boots. 
We've had them in overnight, we've looked for ticks, haven't found any, which is great. So poor Boots is the one that really copped it. He had two ticks on him and he's really not doing that well. Say bye to Boots. Bye bye, bye Boots. Come on, DJ. Come on, Chopper. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at you. <laughs> Catherine and the extended family have come to take the much-loved poodles home. Hello, Chopper. <laughs> So these guys are looking okay, but now the most important thing is all of you, especially you guys, because I bet you guys pat them the most, is to look for ticks every single day. The boys are very happy, they're feeling good, they're actually really lucky, so they're on their way home and we're still left here with Boots and hopefully we'll get him home soon too. How are you feeling, little boy? Oh, you're so much stronger. Add Sash, Boots is finally winning the war against the deadly tick paralysis that was attacking his body. Boots is looking fantastic. He's strong in his legs. He's breathing normally, so everything's really doing what we want it to do. And now we just need to take an x-ray to see if his dilated esophagus has improved. And if it has, then we can feed him. And if he eats normally, then he can go home. See Boots, it's all normal. It's all gone, all better. You're a good boy. Okay, Boots. Hey, you want something to eat now, honey? Look what I got. Good boy. He's come along in leaps and bounds. He's stronger, he's feeling better, and he's actually a lot more relaxed, a lot less nervous, and I think he's really excited to go home. Let's go, Boots, come on. Waiting in reception is Catherine and Boots's fan club. Brothers BJ and Chopper have also come along for the reunion. Come on, Boots. <laughs> he looks so well. You never know. Apart from the haircut. You so cute, Boots. All the kids and Kathy are delighted to have Boots back home. They're so excited. I think they just want to pamper him and give him lots of TLC till he gets back on his feet. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to continue watching more great content.